Welcome to Uncle Bill's Kitchen. Today we are going to show you how to make the best Chinese dumplings you'll ever make. The ingredients you are going to need are dark soy sauce with mushroom flavor, some mijio or cooking wine, pure sesame oil, regular oil, a third cup of water, you're going to need some dumpling wrappers, don't make them yourself, it takes forever, some salt, some white pepper, about a pound and a half of ground pork, and about three pounds of your favorite leafy green. Here we have jiu cai, or chives. First thing we need to do is clean up our green vegetables. You can use cabbage, you can use chives. I love chives with my dumplings. I highly recommend you give them a shot. You can find them in most grocery stores or Asian supermarkets. Give them a nice wash and put them on your chopping block and get ready to cut off these bottom parts here. I take about two inches, cut them off, clear them out. That simple. Now, let's close up here and we're going to cut these to about a quarter of an inch to about no more than half an inch at most. I like these about a quarter of an inch. Uh, after you cook them and you blanch them, they become much easier to handle when putting them into your wrapper. So here with the magic of our technology, we've been able to speed through this and voila! Beautiful. Now let's get some boiling water going and we're going to blanch these jiu cai very quickly. Again, chives. These are just chives. All right. Don't use the dry ones, get the fresh ones. If you can't find fresh ones, just get some cabbage instead. Do the same process, chop them up into small pieces and then put them into a pot of boiling water for one minute to blanch. Give them a nice stir. Don't want these to overcook, so keep an eye on them. Oh, the smell is so good. And once we get to a boil again, we're going to strain these through our wonderful handy dandy strainer. Let me spoon all this stuff out of our pot. Cooking is so much fun. Let's speed through this real quick. And now what we're going to do is take some cold water and we are going to cool this down quick, quick, quick. We don't want these to keep cooking. Once they've been cooled down, we're going to have to get rid of all the moisture from them. And the best way to do it is to squeeze. Oh, yeah. Just like that. Squeeze. So that three pounds is going to turn into what looks like only a quarter pound when you're all done. But don't worry. It'll be more than enough. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Get all that moisture out. Don't leave anything for the garbage. These things are so, so delicious. And they're not too expensive either really really a good deal and again if you can't find yourself some fresh jiu cai then get yourself some cabbage now let's take everything and get ready to mix it up this is a one bowl mix we're going to put in our mi jiu, our ground pork and our jiu cai now we're going to put in a little, about a third cup of oil about a quarter cup to a third cup of the mijio or cooking wine. We're going to put in three tablespoons of sesame oil here. All right, we're going to put in about half a tablespoon of salt. We've got our soy sauce here. If you can't find the mushroom flavor, just get regular. It's fine. We're going to put about three tablespoons here and we're going to hit that like and subscribe button while we're waiting for this wonderful stuff to mix. White pepper powder. We're going to put about a quarter teaspoon in here. I like it, so I put a little bit more. And we've got a third cup of water. I'm going to put half of it in at this time before we get started. And we're going to add more as we go. First thing to do is try to get this stuff mixed up a little bit before we start stirring. That way the juices don't fly all over my kitchen. Now, what you want to do is you want to hold them just like this, your quites or your chopsticks, excuse me. And you're going to just spin in a circle. Now you're going to do this for about eight minutes. It's going to be a really good workout. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to get this to turn into a little bit of a paste. Now, if it starts to look dry or it's hard to mix, just add a little bit more of that water and stir, 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 stir. Here's how it looks after about six minutes. Mm -hmm. 
Stir, 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 add some water, and then stir some more. Eight minutes, we are finally at the point where I like it. Look at that. You want it to look just like this, smooth, pasty. It's not gonna look like clumps of meat. And now we need to take our wrapper and we're gonna make a half smiley face, basically a smiley face, a half circle on the wrapper around the edge for it to connect to. Then we're gonna take about half of a teaspoon to about a teaspoon of the mixture. We're gonna put it in here. I'm gonna show you how to do this wrapper real quick. We're gonna do it a couple times, don't worry. You don't have to rewind. You're gonna bring the bottom to the top and then you're gonna work your way around the edges like a ravioli and you're going to pinch and close. Pinch and close. Pinch, pull, close. That's simple. Pinch, pull, close. Pinch, pull, close. Ta -da! And it looks just like this, like a little purse. Isn't that cute? It's so cute. Get in my belly. I can't wait to eat these. They're so good. All right, let me show you again. Here's a close up. So we're going to make a little smiley face around the bottom edge so that we give the top edge something to connect to and keep all the wonderful goodness inside. Then we're going to take some of our filling. We're going to place it right into the center of our wrapper. We're going to take the bottom of the wrapper, meet it to the top, and we're going to work our way from the middle all the way around. Get all that meat nice and centered. Don't squeeze too hard towards the middle. It's very simple. Squeeze, turn, pull, squeeze, pull, twist, and squeeze. Yes, just like that. You got it? You see how this does? It's very simple. Now this isn't required, okay guys? You can just do the step right before this, close up the wrapper, but it makes it look a lot nicer and it holds the filling in much easier. All right, one more time, let's give you a shot. Put your little smiley face here. Put your little goodies in the middle. Oh, doesn't that look wonderful? Pinch the bottom to the top, all the way around. Just like so. Twist, push, twist, push. Like that, get uh, If a little meat comes out, don't worry, just squeeze it. Just squeeze it, just like that, you see? All right, and then on this side, squeeze, pull, twist, squeeze, pull, twist, squeeze. Yes, and there's your purse. Now, we just need to do about 100 of these, so stay tuned as we get through these real quick. And here is the last one. That's right, folks. Through the magic of our wonderful technology, we've been able to speed through this process, and oh, here is what you have. There's a bunch more in the refrigerator I've already done, guys, so don't worry. Now, how do we cook these? It's very simple. We're gonna bring a pot of water to a rolling boil. This is a rolling boil, all right? Then we're gonna take our dumplings. I've got 20 here. If you've got less than 20, use a smaller pot. It'll go much faster. <laughs> we're gonna give it a little stir to make sure everything's not sticking to the bottom of the pan because the bottom is very hot and you do not want your dumpling wrappers to burn onto the bottom because it lets all the meat out. All right, we're gonna bring these back to a boil while we continuously stir. Now I'm speeding this up, we're at 200 times speed, so just keep that in mind. This takes a little bit of time. We're gonna take some cold water, about a cupful. We're gonna add it to this boiling water to bring it back down. Now, it's been about five minutes. It's coming back to a boil again. We're gonna bring it to a rolling boil. And what we want to see these dumplings do is we want to start to see them float to the surface. That's when we know we're almost done. See, here we've got the rolling boil. Put another cup in. This number two. See, they're already starting to float. Now, I like to go for a third. And before I do, I always like to hit that subscribe button to give my favorite YouTube artist a little support. It doesn't cost you anything. And it really helps us a lot. Now, as you can see, this is starting to come to a boil again. Nothing's sticking to the bottom of the pan. The skin's becoming translucent. Oh, it's going to be so good. We're almost there, folks. You see this boil? Oh, yeah. And bring the water. Last cup. Now, all we're going to do, you see how they're all floating there? They're pretty much done, but I like to make sure because, you know, pork is a product you don't want to eat raw. 
So we're gonna just bring this back to a simmer and then we're done. It's that simple, guys. Wait until you see it. Stick around so you can see the plating. So that's the simmer. All right, let's pull them out. Look, oh, perfect. Restaurant style dumplings. Now what I like to do is I've got this special sauce that I create myself. It's a little bit spicy, so I haven't included the recipe. However, if that's something you'd like, I'd be more than happy to give you the recipe for this. It's a Din Tai Fong, uh, which is a famous restaurant in Taiwan's uh, dumpling sauce. Definitely worth it. Thanks for stopping by Uncle Bill's Kitchen. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please be sure to hit that like button if you do. And don't forget to subscribe so that you can receive updates on new releases every week. Thank you and come again.